Hi, I'm Karen Salino, and this is Flushing High School, where I have spent the last 30 years of my career not just teaching math, but growing brains. Come with me and I'll show you where I do it. As we walk into my classroom, you hear the sounds of students working together. They support each other, they celebrate each other on a daily basis. This is what brain growth looks like. It's so rewarding to see. My hope is that math becomes real for my students, whether they are discovering how well sunscreen blocks UV rays, finding the volume of a jello egg, or measuring the parabolas formed in the drinking fountains. Math becomes tangible, something they can relate to personally. We use technology to analyze the data we collect and the students come to their own conclusions about what they found. The sense of ownership they gain is so powerful. When I came into pre-calc, I was really, really nervous about the process, but when we did this first week, we learned all about her and all about how the class was gonna work and what it was gonna be about. And it just completely blew my mind and I never thought to think about math that way before. And what I can share about Karen is her passion for teaching and witnessing kids teaching each other and learning through their own experiences uh, as she as she guides them, whether they are advanced placement students or general population students in our consumers math courses, uh, just preparing for everyday mathematics and practical applications in the real world. Um, you can sense the passion in her teaching and seeing the excitement as she lights up when kids finally have that aha in class and understand and can, and can relate that math to real world practical applications. Our annual math illusions are a way to help my students focus on their brain growth, not just on their grade in the class. They are learning that working together is so important. What stuck out to me the most was the structure and organization of this class. It has been completely different than my other math classes. We've worked in groups with people I never met before and got to them really well. My students are discovering that math is fun, whether we are celebrating Pi Day in March, or Newton's birthday in December, there's always opportunity for creativity and collaboration. The Math Honor Society I started 20 years ago has given students another place to be with other people like them. This group has allowed the students to enjoy math socially and to explore topics that they haven't seen in their classes before. Seeing them working together and actually enjoying math is why I love what I do.